hello everyone welcome again and today i'm going to show you demo of an e-commerce uh, bookshop project so just first run the project and okay to run the application just right click on the root folder of the application go to run as uh, server take it on create it one five click next application will launch over your browser so uh this is a online book shopping project and it's developed into the jsp and servlet for the backend it's using jsp servlet it has complete mbc architecture and uh, the application is deployed over the tomcat server to manage the dependency it's using maven and for the backend it's using mysql so here we have a mysql database and these are the tables that are available into the mysql database and we have user table that contains the user uh, roles different roles of the application so we have uh, admin role here and other role as a customer or a book reader <coughs> so let's run the application and check how the functionalities are working over there so when at the very first when you run the application the application will deploy like this at the uh, like when you when i'm removing the url this will be your welcome page so here we have a books option so if i click on that i can check the available books and i have option to add to card and other things and the contact page is there if you want to contact uh, with admin you can contact here just fill up the form click on save the data will be saved into the database another thing we have a category option here so oh, admin can add multiple categories the functionalities is there and i can filter out the data according to the category let's so currently i have selected the java category so you can see the three records are there when I click C plus books, so I can see only one record is there. So there are these are the categories, and we can list out more category here. The admin can list out the more categories here. And over the books option, we have a search option. So search product here. I enter the book name, and I, when I click the search, I can filter out that particular book. Again, I can go to the add card, but for that I have to log in and register into the application. So I'm going to log in it from scratch and then I will show you how can a user buy the book. So first I will log in as an admin and check how the admin is going to perform the operations over there. So I'm going to enter the admin username. I'm going to enter this password. I click the sign in button so I can check <clears throat> buy and learn go this is the welcome message for the admin and i have another uh, option here to add a new admin if admin wants to add a new admin you can fill up this form and you can add a new admin over there so i'm just going to give it demo so i just enter a valid email id and the password is demo at the red123 demo at the red123 and the email is there mobile number any 10 digit phone number click on the save when I save the data, the data and refresh the data table, I can see the new record. This is a new record and this contains the role ID one. It means it will work as an admin. That's it. So now <clears throat> let's move again. Other thing what admin can do, admin can I add a new category. So currently we have a two category into the database. So it's displaying the category for Java and C plus book. And let's suppose I need to add a new category. So here is the option add new category. So I'm going to enter a categories, let's say network. Networking. <clears throat> I choose the application and I choose the image here. So I need to choose the image. And here I can give a description like this is a, a good book for networking. I click on the save button. I can see the data is saved successfully. When I view the categories, I can see the new category here as a yeah, networking. Also, as an admin, I can edit and delete that category as well. Okay, other option I have to books. So I can check all the books available here into the database. And here into this system this is a like a book section under the book section again i can uh, do add a new product so when whenever i need to add a new book let's suppose i need to add a new book i just go to the book section uh, here we have an option to add new product so i am going to go there and here i have to select the category so let's suppose i have selected uh, i have added the new category networking over there and i'm going to add a new book over there so so i'm going to give a name as a new network book 
network definition let's suppose and the price should be let's suppose 5000 and then choose i have choose the image so i'm going to use some dummy images so you can choose according to the category and the useful that i have some sample images so i'm going to using them again and again so this is a computer network image and testing some description about the book click on save now when I book view the book I can see the networking definition record is there the database it will take some time to refresh and display the image because the data is storing into a folder and it will take some time to refresh okay <clears throat> again if I want to delete any product here any book so I can do the delete operation I just click delete it's deleted if I want to edit it I can just click on the edit and let's suppose I want to change the description on the name or let's change the name so definition new book i want to add some extra name new while we are adding this we have to update the image again and click on the save navigate to the book section and i can see the name is edited now okay so this way we can do the edit operation also admin can check the cell history so if any user going to buy the book uh, this that cell history will be display here another option we have a contact so if anyone just recently we have filled up the contact form the data is displaying here under the contact section for the admin user so that's done for the admin <coughs> also admin can check the my profile and lower options there but let's log in as a new user and do the operation how the user is performing over there so when i click on the sign up page i can do new registration for the new user but I'm going to log in as an existing user. So in the database, we have some user. Let's suppose we have a, this demo user. So I'm going to log in with this demo user, demo at the rate, Gmail and demo at the rate, one, two, three. I click on the sign in button. I have this many option to buy the book. Let's suppose I want to buy this book and I just click on to add card. So already this user have some other book as well into the data and to the card so <clears throat> currently this user have two book into the card and you can see the card option here it says two if i going to remove this one now it says one i deleted one update uh, one um, card book and let's suppose i want two copies and i click on the update so the price is updated automatically the shipping charges will be also there if I view it, I can view it the complete transaction, complete detail of the product, complete detail of the book. Again, I move to the card section, go to the checkout option. And here is my detail that is already available into the database about this user and that is coming from there. So this is a complete um, uh, complete detail of the book purchase. And here I need to do the payment. I need to write the payment. Uh, request so this is just dummy payment gateway so i'm just entering some dummy data and just click on the confirm payment if the payment is successfully done and now if i view my history i can check the newly bought a book here okay and that's it uh, for the search product also i can perform the search operation here card here so it's kind of e-commerce application for the books where customer can uh, visit and filter the data or book according to the categories they can buy the book and they can manage their cards and their history also after booking any book by the by the customer admin we can also check the sale history now we can check the new sale history is there so demo user is buying the book again and again not another user so recently we have bought this book that's it uh, from the demonstration side for the technology purpose i've already told you it's using jsp and servlets and for the backend it's using mysql following the msc architecture and in case okay that's it that's all about the demo thank you